On April 24, 2023, Rico Treshawn Dukes, 26, of Albuquerque, was arrested by Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office detectives for impersonating a Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputy. While arrested, he was carrying a loaded firearm and loaded magazines. According to detectives, Dukes had posted several pictures on his Tinder dating profile posing as a Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputy, including one picture where he was wearing a duty belt with a loaded firearm. He even posted a random photo of a fully marked patrol unit, falsely claiming it was his own. Dukes met his Tinder match for a jail cell when he was arrested by Bernalillo County Sheriff's detectives. Ian, you want to set up a hand team on that yeah. side? We're going to set up a hand team. Sir. You got a badge on your shirt. Yeah, we're direct. Okay. We'll be hands over here. Cool. Yeah, we'll work it on this side. Keep your hands up. Follow my command. Step out slowly. Keeping your hand up. Close your door and walk towards me. If you reach for that gun, you will be shot. Keep your hands up. Keep them up higher, man. Stop. Stop right there. Turn around. Your Do not reach for that firearm. Don't reach for it. Anybody else in the car? Go and let up. Come back this way. Walk backwards. Shift to your left, man. I'll explain everything in a minute. Take a seat, okay? Is your ID in here? Yeah. May I grab it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm right here. Now, without an attorney present, you will still have the right to stop answering at any time. 
you also have the right to stop answering at any time to talk to an attorney. Do you understand all those rights? Are you willing to talk with me? Mm -hmm. Um, and what's your name? Rico. Rico? What's your last name? Duke. Duke. What's your date of birth? Do you know your social? And where do you live, Rico? On the west side. West side? 3550. Old Airport Road. 3550 Airport. Is there an apartment number? Uh, 2205. 2205. Okay. Um, and what do you do for work? Uh, Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box. How long have you worked there? Uh, not too long. Since, like, December. Since December. Thank you. And so, can you tell me a little bit about what's going on today? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Okay, um, can you tell me why you're in a Orlando County Sheriff's Department well, uniform? I bought this from uh, Kaufman's. You bought it from Kaufman's? Kaufman's? Tell me about that. Maybe. When did you buy it? Um, some months ago. How long? Some months ago. Some months ago? Not long, yeah. Do you know like what month it was? I don't. Okay. So And why did you get the uniform? Just for like promotional stuff. Promotion. Promotion, yeah. What do you mean, promotional it's stuff? Like he says so. Okay. Like videos and stuff. Okay. So to promote BCSO? Yeah. yeah. And do you work for the Sheriff's Department? No. And how do you promote BCSO? It's like videos. Videos and stuff. Videos and stuff? Yeah. What kind of videos do you take? Um, just like a, the buildings, BCSO, try to get like pictures with them and stuff. Okay. Have you taken a lot of videos and stuff? I'm just starting, so no. Oh, just starting? Yeah. Have you taken any yet? And then, um, so you haven't taken any of these videos yet. What what made you want to start doing these videos? Um, I love at least my family. Tell me about just friends and family. I have uh, two cousins, they're twins back home in South Carolina. They're both sheriffs. So it's always been an interest, I guess you could say. Okay, and what are your cousins' names? They're on my dad's side, not my mom's side, so I don't really know them. I just okay, do you know what department they work for? Uh, Richland County. Do you have any other family in law enforcement? Uh, no, just them. Just them? Yeah. Okay. Um, and do you live with anybody? Yeah. Do you live alone at Airport Road? Yeah. And with the wearing of the uniform, um, how did you get the idea to start doing these promotional videos you're talking Just about? Just a random idea one day. Random idea? Yeah. Um, and when you went into Kaufman's, did you have to show any identification that you worked for the Sheriff's they, Department? They asked me, but I told them I didn't have any. I was just getting some stuff for promotional videos for BCSO. And, and they were okay just selling it to you without any identification? Okay.
So, do you know it's a crime to impersonate a law enforcement officer? Right. And so, wearing the uniform, how, tell me about your mindset with that. The, the gun on your hip and stuff and that's, that's my personal that's your personal yeah. gun okay um where did you buy that i bought that from i want to say abq guns off of course do you know when you bought it Is that the only firearm you own? Yeah. Okay. And so then, I know you, there's a lot of stuff I know um, and I, I want to ask you about, and depending on how honest you yeah. are with me, I know I can gauge your truthfulness. Right. So I, I know about your Tinder profile. Um, tell me about posting all those pictures. Just a post. Are they all of you? Yes, they're all of you. All of you in your uniform? Yeah. Um, and that's this uniform here? Correct. Do you have any other uniforms no. at the house? Just this one? Yeah. This shirt and that hat. And so... Is this your profile? Yeah. And you go by Trishon on yeah. here? Tell me about that name. Middle name. That's your middle name? Okay. And so this is you, right? Okay. Um, this picture here. Whose unit is this? Uh, one random I just saw. One you just randomly saw? Yeah. It's going to be for the videos. Okay. Um, where were you at when you saw this unit? Um, somewhere on the east side. I want to say I go on to go somewhere. Somewhere on the east side, want to go? Yeah. Where was it at? I don't know. There's a neighborhood I want to go. You told a few people. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, how many people have you met up with in this uniform? Met up with? Yeah, from like Tinder. From Tinder? No, no. You haven't Not met yet, up with no. any of them? No. This is going to be the first time? Yeah. Okay. Um, and so, you don't have any family? Anybody 
um, that you know that works for the sheriff's department. Yeah, no. No? Okay. Um, because there's some information that we have that you know somebody on the department. Um. From here. Family. You don't have any family, any friends that work on the department? No. No? Okay. Um, and so you don't know who owns that uh, Tahoe that you took a picture of? No. And you don't remember what address it was at? No. It was just going to be for uh, promotional videos. Or okay. And where are you going to post these promotional videos? YouTube. YouTube? YouTube. Okay. Do you have a YouTube channel? I have a channel. It's got like one follower. Okay. What kind of videos do you post? I don't have any up there yet. Okay. Yeah, it's just, it's all just been created, so. Okay. And what's your YouTube? Is it? Uh, it's just under Rico. I know, I know my email's under it, so. Okay. What's your email? Rico T. Dukes. Rico T. Dukes. Or 638. Four six three eight at gmail.com. At gmail.com. And I forgot to ask, what's a good phone number for you, Rico? 505-545-2070. Okay. And as far as going to the Monroe's today, mm -hmm. can you tell me about going there in uniform? Oh, I'm supposed to be meeting a friend. You're supposed to be yeah. meeting a friend there? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and why did you go in uniform? Well, I got up this morning for uh, to do videos, so I was already in it. Okay. Um, and this friend, does she think, it's a she, right? Yeah. Does she think that you work for the Sheriff's Department? I would assume. You would assume? Yeah. Why would you assume that? Because of the pictures. The pictures? Yeah. Is there any other reason? No. No? Um, oh, no, you believe me. Did, did you tell her that you work for the Sheriff's Department? I told her, yeah. You did? Yeah. Okay. And what did I you say you did? didn't specify. So. You didn't specify? What do you mean? I did uh, promotional videos and stuff. Oh, okay. I didn't tell her I did like, stuff like that. Okay. What did you tell her you did? I was just honest her. Okay. Did you tell her any details about what you do, what shift you work, anything like that? Um, like nights. You told her you work nights? nights. What yeah. else? Okay. Um, do you remember telling her that you used to work for APD? I remember telling her that, yeah. Okay. Um, and that you were there for a year? Did you work for APD? No. no. Um, and then you said you've been with BCSO for about four years? Okay. Um, are your hands bothering you? No, uh, he just, he just never adjusted them, so. Oh, okay. Um, so, you did say you worked for BCSO after working for APD for a year, and then are they too tight? Or Let me check them real quick for you. Yeah. Go ahead and get up, turn around, face away from me. Go ahead and bend over at the waist. Okay, no, well, they're good. You just gotta relax. You moving around like that, it's gonna cause that irritation. Um, and so you did say that you worked for BCSO for the last four years, um, and that you normally work uh, night shift. Did you say that you were currently on day shift working for operations? Do you remember saying that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, with uh, this Tinder profile, does anybody else have access to your Tinder profile? No. No? Okay. Um, does anybody else have access to your phone? No. no. Does your phone have a passcode? Yeah. What is your passcode?
Um, and so nobody else has access to it. Does anybody else know the password to your phone? No. Okay. Um, and then you guys were talking on Tinder. Did you go and start chatting somewhere else then? Uh, text, yeah. You moved to text message. Okay. Um, and then you agree, You guys agreed to meet up at Monroe's? Okay. And that's why you were there today in yeah. uniform. All right. And you identified yourself as uh, Officer Dukes, correct? Okay. I just wanted to make sure. All right. Do you want to ask any questions? Like I said, uh, remember when uh, the detective read you your rights? Those are still in play when I talk to you. So anytime you don't want to talk, you can stop. Like I said, my name's Jesse. And do you go by Rico or? All right. Um, my job's a little different. I'm all about making sure people are safe and making sure people aren't doing things to endanger themselves. And I've got a concern with that. Yeah. You know, well, so what do you think some of my concerns would be? Me. Well, besides that, now I don't care about that stuff. I care about your safety. Why do you think I'm concerned with that? Yeah, I'm not sure. What's that? I'm not sure. Well, some of the things is, you know, people aren't always so friendly towards officers. Right. And they have, you know, we've had recent events where they've shot at people in uniform on or off duty. Right. And I'd hate for you, not being an officer, to put yourself in that situation. All right, and we've had some people, I'm not saying you're this type of person, but we've also had some people pretending to be cops, doing yeah. something dumb, getting themselves in trouble. Right. So if this is just something that you're doing because you think you're trying to do something good or for whatever reason, right. just know it's, for lack of better terms, it's not a safe thing to be doing. Understood. The other thing is I, I got to make sure that at the end of the day you're going to be safe. Does that make sense to you? Yes, sir. So some of the questions I might ask are going to be a little weird. If you're all right with that, yeah. um, and they're not necessarily going to be pertaining to this, but just me building up a, a, a picture of you. Okay. All right. Um, you said you worked at Jack in the Box. Mm -hmm. What did you do before Jack in the Box? I worked for a New Mexico Protective Force. So okay. What do they do? Security. Security. Yeah. Um, what were some of your assignments there? Uh, just patrol like uh, El Mesquite Market on Central and San Pedro. Um, pretty much all the Peterson properties, buildings. Okay. And that was called New Mexico what? New Mexico Protective Force. Protective Force? Yeah. Oh, how long did you work there? Uh, two years. Okay, why'd you leave? A uh, better job. Oh, uh, they didn't pay good? No, they actually ended up cutting our pay. Oh, why? Uh, uh, they actually got new people. So, um, when you were in that position, were you armed? What did you carry? Uh, I think it was uh, either XD-40 or XD-40. Okay. Were you wearing uh, ballistic protection, like a, a safety? I had one, but I never wore it over there. No? No. Do you own any of that? No. No? no. Okay. So the only firearm is what you told yeah. the detective about? All right. What you do before that? Um, pretty much it was all security. Worked for Desert Wolf. Um, oh, is that with the... Uh, I saw the little wolf thing on your... Yeah. yeah. Desert Wolf Security, uh, Mesa, saw, Mesa Detection. You seem like you like that because when security. I asked you, you were smiling like you're so pretty proud of it. Whole background security. Yeah, what happened with that? Uh, I just got tired of it, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Um, have you ever applied to be a law enforcement officer? Uh, I think I took the test for APD last year sometime. Ended up not passing the test. So what, what part did you not pass? Um, so I passed the first part, which was the written, I believe. And then they have the part where you take like the uh, like the 600 question test. Oh yeah. So you're there for a few hours. I think it was that one. That I oh okay. What's your highest level of education? Um, 12th grade. 12th grade. Yeah. So you graduated or GED? Some college, but I didn't finish. That's C and Oh, college? Yeah. What were you taking? I was taking uh, automotive technology engineering. Oh, what made you stop? Uh, lazy, I guess. Lazy? Yeah. Uh, um, have you ever been arrested before? I've uh, been detained and um, 
picked up by the U.S. Marshals a few years ago. I think because I missed it, I had a summons to appear for an uh, assault against a security guard. I got dismissed. Okay. So they came what in, happened there? Uh, they came in to my mom's house. We lived up there near uh, our Trisco Heritage. Mm -hmm. And they came and picked me up and then went downtown. And then they took me to Santa Fe. I was there from Monday to Thursday and then uh, came back to Albuquerque. Have you ever, ever had other law enforcement contact? Uh, just like besides being pulled over, no. No? Okay. Have you ever had to go to court for anything? Court for a speeding ticket, court for that, the assault charge I got to drop, and like over the phone court for um, like to establish uh, child support. Payments. Okay. Yeah. So you have children? Yeah, I have um, a son. Oh, son? One. What's his yeah. name? You still see him a lot, or? Uh, I haven't seen him since October. Oh wow! Sorry. It's been a minute. Yeah, miss him. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. What do you like to do with him? Uh, take him to the park. Yeah. Wrestle. Wrestle. Yeah. Wrestle? yeah. Um, uh, let me see, doo -doo. And you said videos, what kind of videos are you making? It's like promotional. Well, if you said so promotional, but I'm not into this technology stuff, so I don't like know what promotional to means. Go apply and stuff like that, just videos just to get them out there. Have you contacted our city. public affairs officer or anything, public information? No, I don't know how that goes as far mm -hmm. as like getting in contact with certain people. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, so promotional videos, that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Have you ever remember? I said I'm going to ask some weird questions. They might be a little uncomfortable. It's okay. All right. Um, have you ever uh, done anything that resulted in you going to the hospital for some sort of mental evaluation? A couple years ago, I had. Do you want to take those cuffs off while we're talking to you? I know they're not very comfortable. All right, put this hand on top of your head. So you said you went a couple of years ago you went to the hospital? Yeah. Or? Uh, I uh, cut myself. I'm doing my thumb bone and stuff. Or cut yourself as in? Like on that wrist and stuff. So you're trying to kill yourself? Not kill, just make a point to her. Uh, yeah. What kind of point were you trying to make? That what she did hurt me. Okay. Yeah. And what happened at the hospital? Um, well, I think we went to, uh, they took me to Russ in Rio Rancho. And I didn't want to be there at first, but I ended up staying. And then they um, ended up sending me to, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's right next to a casement, mm -hmm. uh, the psych place. Okay. So I was there for a week and then they sent me home. Okay. Are you still seeing a therapist or anything? Oh no, that was like I said, that was just a different point to her, so Okay, any other threats of suicide? No. How about threats to harm anybody? No. Never? No. All right. Um so uh you ever serve in the military or anything like that? No. No? You ever applied for the military? No. Have you ever applied to buy a firearm or anything and been denied? Uh, never been denied, always. Uh, once or twice, they just had a wait. It was just like the next day. I came okay, just put a wait on it? Mm -hmm. um, you're not taking any kind of medication or anything? I'm a diabetic, so I take uh, insulin. When's the last time you had your insulin? Uh, last night. Last night? Or Early this morning, maybe like 
two or three o'clock. Do you have anything to eat today? Um, I had like a couple bites of pasta, but that's it. Okay. Um, so that, have you ever used any illegal drugs? No. And like I said, you're not in trouble for that stuff. Oh, no. Yeah, no? no? All right. And do you have any friends in law enforcement? I know you asked about family and all that. Um, no. You said you applied for APD once? Mm -hmm. What made you want to be a cop? Well, just because my cousins. Oh. Yeah. Um, and you said uh, you don't have custody of your child, or is it shared? No, that's that's my plan to eventually get shared. But yeah, I haven't seen him since October. All right. So do you live by yourself? Yeah. All right. Um, like I said, my you know some of the concerns I have. You no, know, I'll just be honest with you. Is people who dress up and do yeah, stuff so like that. They put themselves at risk, and sometimes, you know, if you could even have the best intentions to right. come in and try to help us, and if we don't know you, we don't know you, and our department's small enough, we know everybody. Right. So that that can do it. And, or let's say you try to do something to help somebody, and you have the best intent, Backfire. but you don't do something right, right. all that kind of stuff. So that, that, those are big concerns. And the other concern is, you know, usually for like uh, places like Kaufman and all that, you yeah, have to you show have, I yeah. you have to show identification. Right. So it's hard to believe they actually let you walk hey, out like that. They me off <laughs> too. Why would you try knowing that? What do you mean? Like, what made you decide just to go? I'm going to go in and buy it. Well, I told SLU them what for. it was for, and they they let me buy it. Okay. Do you remember who sold it to you? Uh, it was a short white lady. It was like three of them. What name did you use? Mine. Yours? Yeah. You uh, used Rico yeah. Dukes? Mm -hmm. Okay. And they'll be able to confirm that you I should. bought it? Yeah. And you said it was in the last couple months? Last couple months. Okay. Did you pay with the credit card or cash or what? It was cash. Cash? Yeah. of you in uniform on any other uh, dating app other than Tinder? Dating app? Um, I want to say I, I used to use an app called BLK. I don't think I ever posted anything on it. What's BLK? Um, it's like a like dating site. Oh. It's one of the ones that pop up on like Facebook and stuff. Okay. Um, and you used the pictures there too? Where else? That's it. That's it? Have you ever used them on Facebook or any other? Uh, the same ones on Facebook. The fa same yeah. ones are on Facebook? Yeah, like the selfies. And what's your Facebook uh, name? Rico Dukes. Rico Dukes? Yeah. You don't go by anything else? No. Okay. Um, and what email is associated with that 